Hey guys, I'm Johnny, owner of Blaze Grass Lawn Care here in Savannah, Georgia. On today's vlog, we're going to talk about pine straw. Um, I'm also going to show you how a customer, uh, we were set to do a certain job a certain way, just trim the uh, shrubs and stuff like that, but then uh, in the middle of the job, he decided to change it all up. So um, we're going to talk about you know what to do if that happens and basically just how to deal with it. Um, which is you know not hard just make sure you have it in writing and uh, prices are set and you know how to properly price certain jobs all right guys enjoy Right, guys so today we're gonna do a small little cleanup um, what we did is we already trimmed the uh, palm tree and we put all the debris right here and basically um, we put the debris right here because the customer opted not to have us uh, not to pay for um, hauling off the debris and the city will come by and pick it up which is free to them so what we're gonna do is uh, trim the shrubs clean out the plant beds and mulch these leaves right here and make it look nice and pretty for the uh, for the rest of the uh, season all right now a property like this we will come by once a month and just kind of keep it clean and this is what I'm talking about this is what we do during the winter time on I would say 40% of our properties okay all right let's get hot all right, guys, this is the end result. The pine straw. We even placed uh, a couple of cats for the curb appeal. Now, let me stop. So we put the pine straw in, trim the shrubs. Cleaned it all up. real good one Did last look to go home? <laughs> <laughs> one last look all right time to go ah, I love the colorful another pine straw job this one is pretty it's a bigger job uh, it's going to require probably about 65 bales uh, to 70 bales of pine straw but um, I'm going to show you guys real quick uh, what we got to work with so this is what the beds look like after a year of straw again pine straw decomposes and this is what it kind of look like okay so we're gonna show you what this beautiful home is gonna look like once we finish putting down our pine straw and let me show you this is where we have the bales all we do is take the mowers out leave them at the uh, storage and pack it with straw all right, so here's Quest right now. This is how we uh, put in the straw. 
and we'll make little clips here and there of how we install this beautiful pine straw. And now we try to put it down at least five to six inches and with time it'll settle it'll settle down and uh you know make that tight compact bond all right guys enough talking let me get to work all right guys this is the final look at the mulch long needle pine straw all the way around you probably can't see it that we did that bed and all the way around the property good job my man <laughs> all over here all over here and all the way around The what? <laughs> oh, you're the blaze of grass gnome? <laughs> Let me walk in the front. Hope you can see this is a blaze of grass long care gnome. <laughs> All right. Real nice all the way around. And we also did this bed right there. Beautiful, beautiful work. Oop, drop my gloves. So you guys can see. And we went all the way around. And yes, that's uh, 64 bales of long needle pine straw installed by the one and only Blazer Grass Lawn Care gnome behind me. See that? Perfectly still. All right, guys, our next task is I'm inside a trailer, so I do apologize. Uh, our next task is to trim some shrubs and put down some pine straw. So this is what we got to trim. All right, trim this down, make it look real nice and put down some pine straw. Okay, we're not gonna film us, hold on. We're not gonna film us actually uh, trimming the shrubs, but uh, we're gonna show you the final result. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the final result. Now, uh, there was one change in the plan, which was the lower pedlums. Um, we took a whole lot of it off from the top to do a uh, severe pruning this time of the year and believe it or not guys for you southern guys you know you you know um, these will uh, grow right back and they're going to look real real nice I will say around May where you can trim the top now the job did change 
and with changes come changes in prices okay remember you have to discuss with the customer um, any change in the plans will incur an additional fee now also we left this pile here and here the city will come and pick this up or we can actually dis dispose it for them but most of our customers just want to leave it there and have the city pick it up now guys I know a lot of you guys don't like pine straw but again it's, it's about what the customer like not what you like okay and uh, how do you come up with your disposal fee well the way we do it is we will take the man hours plus the disposal fee plus the gas that it takes to get there. Some of you guys would just do 30 bucks or 50 bucks. We don't. We add everything up because your time to get there, your gas to drive there, um, should be incurred in your price to dispose of any uh, vegetation debris that you have. All right. So it wasn't as pretty as we wanted oh, excuse me as we wanted the job to look but again um, plans were changed we were just supposed to come and trim it up make it look nice and pretty but the customer decided to go ahead and just cut half of it off uh, incurring more time and an additional fee on the job which was fine with the customer and uh, so yeah all right if you have any questions leave it in the comment below Let's uh, keep moving to the next. Turn white. Turn white. Is my, is my, she somehow. Closer. We're taking the time to watch the video. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and you learned something from it. And again... Stay motivated guys. I know it's the winter time and a lot of you guys aren't doing too much, but again, spring will come pretty fast guys. All right, stay motivated, pop smoke.